Welcome to my channel Electronics on Wheels. I have got one feedback that there is less clarity on the video so I am trying to improve the clarity. Please let me know if this video is making sense so I got one request on making video on car function and feature. In this series I am going to explain the following topics as mentioned below. Charging system, starting lighting, instrument panel, air conditioning, chassis electrical systems, comfort and safety in little bit about the electrical vehicle in last. Let's start with charging system. First question in our mind comes, what is the charging system in a car? Charging system is nothing but a system which supplies all the current demands made by loads and current required to charge the battery. Main component of charging system is alternator and supporting with wiring harness. Alternator generates AC current and after voltage regulator its output is DC current which is supplied to battery and loads. Alternator should produce the constant DC voltage irrespective of engine speed and current load. What are technical requirement which need to be fulfilled by charging system? These are mentioned below requirement which need to be fulfilled by alternator. Supply the current demands made by all loads. Supply whatever charge current the battery demands. Supply constant voltage under all conditions. As you can see in this figure, alternator is connected to engine through belt. As you can see, alternator will provide or generate the current only when our engine is in running condition. Voltage regulator which converts AC to DC is always part of alternator assembly. Alternator is connected to battery through wiring harness to battery directly to charge the battery and when it comes to provide the current to other loads, alternator provide the current through fuse box slash junction box that comes under power distribution. In next slide, I will show you how it's connect to battery and other loads through fuse box. As you can see in the figure, alternator can have 2 pin connector or 4 pin connector based on type of connector and function. 2 pin connector has 1 pin for battery positive voltage and other pin is used to show the charge indication on cluster. 4 pin connector also has above 2 mentioned function. In next video, I will explain about the charging system circuit that how charging system electrically works. We find the answer of the question like how it charges to the battery. How charge indication comes on cluster. Can we fetch the RPM from alternator? How it's connected with instrument panel and how you will find if your battery is not charging by the alternator. If I get 100 subscriber in this video, I am going to make the next video on how we do the charge balancing alternator. Please like, comment and subscribe the channel.